Argentina's Football Association was forced to cancel matches in its top two leagues this weekend. That's after players refused to step onto the pitch. Well, they were saying that they hadn't been paid in months, and this was their sort of form of protest. Many clubs are currently facing a financial crisis after the government scrapped a TV deal with the Football Federation. Well, we've got Semra Hunter here from our sports team to answer a few of these questions. Um, can you just explain why did the government cancel the broadcasting deal with the Football Federation? What was wrong? So Bad to football? answer this, no. Uh, no. Okay. So to answer this, we have to go back to 2009, uh, look a little bit of the history of the situation here. So in 2009, we saw much of the same thing, lots of strikes going on, player wages not being paid. So the government decided to step in and took the uh, situation off of the TV rights holders at the time, refusing to increase those pay wages. And they created a program that was called Football for All. So basically, mm -hmm. they made all of the games free to air, mm -hmm. and they decided to take advantage and give all of the uh, publicity spots to the government ads as well. So in fact, oh. they basically turned football <clears throat> into a propaganda tool for the I government. See. But in 2015, yeah. a new president steps in, Mauricio Macri, who, by the way, was a president of Boca Juniors for 12 yes. years, one of the biggest, most popular so football teams. Just to be the clear, country. the president of the country yes. was also the president of Boca Juniors. At the once time, upon exactly, time. Okay. once upon a time. So uh -huh. he steps in, says the government should not be subsidizing football in any way, shape or form. He scraps this program, this football mm. for all program, and decides... Uh, so currently, though, the government still is the rights holders of yeah. the, uh, the league, but they are looking for bids to have somebody else the go just going the, in the, the future. The government but... offered $22 million yes. as compensation yes. for cancelling it, yes. and the Argentinian Football Association said no. Why is that? So, um, well, they are owed $22 million, but mm. the government decided that they're going to withhold that money until the AFA uh, mm. decides to clean up their act because they have a lot of problems. It's in complete uh. disarray. There's a lot of corruption going on as well. Right. On the other side, though, the clubs and the players are saying, actually, you owe us more money than this, so uh. we don't want to necessarily accept this offer okay. because... Yeah, what, what, that money. What, what is the impact of the death of the AFA's permanent president back in 2014? Why haven't they replaced him? I think they just have really... This, this man was there since 1979, uh, so think about it. He's it's there, Seth Exactly. Right. And for a time, he was actually the second most powerful man in the world after Sam Blatter. Yeah. So once he passed away, there were very split decisions between the clubs uh, as to who should step in, who should become the next president. And they haven't been able to decide ever since then. So it's just been a very so chaotic situation. That's what happens when you have one man at the top exactly, of an organization exactly. for far too long. He becomes exactly. the organization. And now he's, he's departed. It's a very sort of similar it's situation with FIFA in general. That's yeah. everything that's been going on. Okay, so, Semra Hunter, thank you very much.